Do you have any reaction to the FFA's decision to bring charge the club with bringing a game into disrepute? Oh, at, uh, as you can respect, you know, I'm uh, obviously preparing for a game tomorrow night and, you know, preparations have started, you know, uh, four or five days ago. But, you know, what I will say is the football club, you know, you know certainly doesn't condone any anti-social behaviour. Uh, uh, but from my perspective, uh, I hope you respect that uh, if the football club uh, feels a need to, to release a statement, they will do in due course. Were you surprised? I haven't given it too much thought, to be honest. You know, what I do recall from, from, from last week is, uh, again, I'm not trying to be elusive. Uh, you know, I recall a, a great game of football because that's what I was involved in. Um, and we certainly uh, played our part in that. And, uh, you know, so did, uh, you know, Tony Popovich's men. And, uh, you know, that's what I remember from the night. Uh, well, going to the football then, um, mm. any changes to the starting lineup for tomorrow night? Um, there will be, yeah. Pablo's uh, obviously come on, uh, come off last week, and uh, uh, it's a shame because uh, you know he's, he started to find some form, he's started to settle in. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Pablo won't make the won't make the game tomorrow night. Uh, Nick Ansel will come in, and you know Nick's proven uh, in recent games that you know when he's been given the opportunity, he hasn't let anybody down. Uh, you know, also Guy. Uh, he's trained all week, um, and uh, you know we're comfortable in the way he's travelled this week. So uh, it's more than likely he'll uh, he'll get an opportunity tomorrow night as well. He'll be in the starting eleven. Yeah, look, cause like I said, I mean it's uh, I've, I've maintained throughout this whole uh, you know campaign with Guy. He's, he's he's been tremendous for us uh, in, in the role he's had to play, um, and we obviously understand where his where his body is, um, and uh, you know we'll wait and see how he gets through. Uh, another session today, and and that uh, that means he's completed the full week, uh, so he'll certainly be in contention. So if he starts, he'll come in mm. for Connor Payne. Or yeah, more than likely, more than likely Connor. Uh, you know, uh, we've got uh, you know obviously looking looking forward as well. We'll lose you know four players that go away with the national team, and, and Connor's one of those. So you know we'll have to start preparing uh, for that at some stage, and, and this week will probably be it. So answer in and. Finger in for Contreras and Payne, basically. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. How far away is Archie from playing? He's close again. Uh, he's, he's close again. He's been close for a little while, but uh, you know we're going to you know very, be cautious with him and you know ruled him out for uh, for tomorrow night's game. You know early in the week to give him an opportunity to to make sure he's 100% uh, for the following week. Just on Gay, how inspirational is it what he's managed to do? To come back from a knee mm. home and within a year he's doing yeah. what he did on the weekend. Uh, it is. It's, always, you know, it's never, it's never ideal, and it's it's not a nice situation when you see a, a teammate and, and a very popular teammate as well amongst the, amongst the players, and and everyone's had to you know watch him uh, go about his business and recover, uh, and uh, you know again you know he's rewarded the team in not only the way he's come on and played, but you know the way he's you know handled himself and, and, and his rehab that he's he's come back and be able to contribute to, to the team uh, very early because like I said you know it's not even 12 months ago he, he suffered that injury. What does he offer you that's different, do you think? I mean, other than mm. Beckham-esque through kick the yeah. other night. Yeah, it wasn't bad, was it? Uh, oh, look, he's, he, he's a talented footballer and technically gifted, you know, and, uh, um, you know, we're starting to, uh, you know, see many players like this, you know, come across the A-League, but, uh, uh, you know, certainly Guy, you know, in that final third can unlock defences and, uh, you know, with his, with his, cle with his vision and his, uh, and his clever passes. So, um, you know, he certainly adds uh, something a little bit different to the to the team in that final third. Have Cerezo and Saka come back with an improved bid for Mitch Nichols, or is that uh, still rumbling? Um, no, to the first question, they haven't come back with an improved offer. Um, and I'm not too sure if it's still rumbling, we'll have to wait and see. He didn't have the significant impact on the game mm. last Saturday that he has all season. Mm. Well, the reality is, you know, Mitch is he's only human and um, it's obviously, you know, he's, he's, he's had to give it some thought thought over the last couple of weeks, but, uh, um, you know, he's a required player at this football club and, uh, you know, and uh, you know he's acted accordingly. Um, you might say it didn't have his usual Im impact, but uh, he was certainly good for us last week. Brisbane, as you say, the current leaders mm. going clear at the top of the table. What do you expect from them uh, and what sort of a challenge do they offer? Yeah, that poses, poses a good challenge to us. Uh, you know, I recall our, our last meeting against them. Uh, you know, since then they've obviously gone on to take a lot of points, taken a lot of points, and uh, it'll be a good football game tomorrow night. I think last week was a, a spectacle of, uh, of two teams, you know, really going at each other and, and, and trying to win a football game. And uh, I'm excited about tomorrow, to be honest, because uh, I see no different. Brisbane will come here and uh, you know try and win the football game and. 
and us in front of our home fans will try and do the same thing. Where can you hurt them or where can they hurt you? You beat them last time. Yeah, look, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, irrespective of, uh, you know, what they're going to throw up and, you know, we've had a good look at them and analysed them. But uh, from our perspective, uh, you know, we're still creating a number of chances. And uh, in that final third, uh, as, I, you know, as I've maintained that, you know, once we, you know, get good control of that ball in that final third, uh, you know, we, we cause every defence in this competition problems. And uh, uh, the key again tomorrow is to, uh, you know, maybe take one of our early opportunities. Is there say points between you at the moment? Is that where it's at? Do you think that's fair, or is it closer? Mm -hmm. well, look, I don't know. The, real, the reality is, it's, it's it's what it is. You know, there's there's been you know games where we could have you know we feel we maybe could have got uh, more out of in terms of points, and uh, you know Brisbane are, have been on a on a very good run. Um, so uh, as you said, it's it's important that we you know bridge that gap tomorrow night if we've got any aspirations of uh, winning the league.